Welcome to Wacky Universe. I'm your host, Nadine, and before we start the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload. Over the centuries, our history books have had to change several times, with people realizing that things didn't quite happen in the way it was recorded. Sometimes history books have been written to tarnish someone's reputation and don't fully disclose the truth. We are going to write some wrongs and see some historical facts that are as legit as the Tooth Mouse or the Boogeyman. 22. False Identity Cleopatra was an Egyptian. Wait, what? Yeah, actually, Cleopatra was from the Ptolemaic dynasty, a family of Greek origin who ruled Egypt after Alexander the Great. She was the first member of her family to learn to speak Egyptian. She knew how to make an entrance and would often use stagecraft to fool her audience. Cleopatra would also often portray herself as Isis. 21. Face the facts. It's widely accepted that Christopher Columbus discovered America, and a 2005 survey confirmed that 85% of Americans believe that fact. 2% of respondents said it was impossible for him to have discovered America when Native Americans were already living there. The truth is that the first European to land in America is believed to be Leif Erikson, a Viking explorer who made the voyage from Greenland to Newfoundland in Canada in 1000 AC. 20. A Burning Issue 1692 is a year that Salem, Massachusetts will never forget. It's often said that anyone found guilty of practicing witchcraft will be burned at the stake. Most of the Salem witches were never burnt and were actually hanged. There were other people accused of witchcraft who were burnt, particularly throughout Europe during the 16th century, where up to 50,000 witches were executed this way. But burning never happened in Salem. 19. Chew on this. George Washington's teeth are a cause for much debate. It's commonly believed that his teeth were made from wood, which is a disturbing thought. His teeth did not have a good track record, and over his lifetime, he had some peculiar dentures. He lost his first adult tooth at 22, and by the time he was president, he only had one tooth remaining. His first dentures were made from ivory and held together with gold springs. He had a set of human dentures said to be purchased from African-American slaves. He also had sets made from donkey teeth, horse teeth, cow teeth, and lead. Makes you feel less scared to visit a dentist, doesn't it? 18. The truth will set you free. Google any costume idea for Vikings and you will encounter helmets with horns. And the big question is, why? Why are Vikings depicted as wearing helmets with horns? No archaeological dig has ever found evidence that their helmets had horns and what purpose would they have served? The first time this sort of helmet was noted was from either an opera in 1876 by Wagner or an image from a Swedish artist around the same time. 17. Will the real designer please stand up? This is a bit of he said, she said, but many lean towards believing that Betsy Ross didn't design the American flag as we've been led to believe. June 14th, 1777. The first official national flag of the newly independent United States is adopted. There is more evidence available to prove that the real creator was Francis Hopkinson, a New Yorker who is also credited for bringing continental paper money to the country. 16. Claim to Fame The Pilgrims and Thanksgiving go together, but now it seems that the Pilgrims didn't host the first Thanksgiving. The Pilgrims ate many meals where they gave thanks, so what made this date so special? The Spaniards celebrated a similar event in Florida in 1565, way before the Pilgrims. Historians are not even sure that the 1621 Pilgrim Dinner even took place. And even if the dinner did take place, it's not certain what they would have eaten. Some believe they would have consumed venison. 15. Fortune favors the brave. Perhaps it's not so much a historical fact as opposed to a misconception, but fortune cookies were invented in Japan. Chinese restaurants began giving them out instead of desserts, and many believe that they came from China. 14. Drop it like it's hot. We all know that story of how Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree when he got hit on the head by a falling apple, and lo and behold, we now have a new theory called gravity. Rewind. That's not what happened at all. He was having dinner with a friend and they went into the garden to drink tea. While doing so, they chatted about how interesting it was that an apple would descend perpendicularly to the ground. They mused as to why the apple didn't go sideways or upwards and that there was some form of power pulling it towards the ground. He certainly didn't get a hit on the head by a wayward apple. 13. Good timing. It's a common belief that the Great Fire of London is what ended the spread of the Great Plague in Britain. 
It's a common belief that the Great Fire of London is what ended the spread of the Great Plague in Britain. However, that fact is purely coincidental. The Great Plague ended in 1666, and the Great Fire of London broke out in September of 1666. At this stage, the cold winter approaching had already halted the spread of the plague. What might have been a more plausible explanation was that the fire would have killed the rats carrying the disease-ridden fleas. But it wasn't the main reason why the plague ended. 12. Reaching New Heights If you had to ask anyone if they thought Napoleon Bonaparte was tall or short, the most common answer would be short. He wasn't short at all. He was slightly taller than the average Frenchman in the early 1800s. He hired his guards based on their height, which is probably why he appeared so much shorter. 11. Take some responsibility The Spanish influenza makes one believe that the influenza was thanks to the Spanish, but that's not quite how it happened. It's believed that the Spanish might have been the hardest hit by the 1918 flu outbreak, but the origin of the outbreak is believed to have begun in Kansas in the U.S. The Spanish flu resulted between 30 and 100 million deaths between 1918 and 1919. The virus wasn't a super virus either, but was so much more contagious due to overcrowding, poor nutrition, and sanitation. 10. Just for show Iron Maidens were torture devices that were said to have been used in the Middle Ages. The device had short spikes that would ensure the recipient had a slow, painful death. Recordings of these devices used are non-existent, with some reports suggesting they were only assembled like this in the 19th century. There are many myths about medieval torture be 9. Have your cake The quote, let them eat cake, has been credited to Marie Antoinette. She supposedly said it in response to the poor people not being able to afford bread. There is no evidence that links Marie Antoinette to that quote. Lady Antonia Fraser, a reputable biographer, has attributed the quote to Marie Therese, another French princess who was around 100 years prior to Marie Antoinette. 8. It all adds up There's a beautiful story circulating around social media telling the tale of Albert Einstein and what a terrible student he was. And despite his challenges, his mom believed in him and he was the success we know him to be today. It's a catchy story, but it's also not true. Einstein was excellent in math in all his subjects. He did fail an entrance exam to the Zurich Polytechnic, but that's because he was still years away from graduating high school and his French wasn't that great at the time. He passed the math section of the paper, but didn't get through the language, botany, and zoology sections. 7. Free to go Thomas Jefferson was the third president of the United States and served between 1801 to 1809. Despite Jefferson being outspoken against slavery, he owned 600 slaves throughout his lifetime. He only freed seven of them, and once he died, the remaining slaves were sold to settle his outstanding debts. 6. Honesty is the best policy There's a great story about how George Washington chopped down his father's favorite cherry tree, and he couldn't tell a lie to his father, and so he said, I cannot tell a lie, I did cut it with my hatchet. This never happened. The story was created by Mason Lock Weems to let people know that Washington had remarkable virtues even from a young age. 5. Blame the cow Why anyone would feel a need to fabricate such a story is still unclear, but it's widely accepted that the cause of the Great Chicago Fire in 1871 was a cow that knocked over a lantern. Hundreds of people died that day and a large portion of the city was burnt to the ground. The journalist who said the fire was started by Mrs. O'Leary's cow later admitted that he embellished the story. 4. We didn't start the fire The Great Fire of Rome brought the city to its knees between the 18th and 26th of July 64 CE. Emperor Nero was accused of starting the fire and then was said to play the fiddle while his people suffered. It's believed by some that he started the fire so that he could take credit for eventually stopping it. Tacitus, a trusted historian of the time, confirms that Nero was not in Rome when the fire broke out and was actually 30 miles and 48 kilometers away. Granted, it doesn't erase the fact that he may have been involved in starting the fire, but he certainly wasn't playing his fiddle when the fire was burning. 3. World's First It's been accepted as fact that Julius Caesar was the first person to be born by Caesarian. That has been proven false because his mother lived a long time after giving birth to him. C-sections at the time were fatal. And although some children were born via C-section, the mother had usually died before the child was removed. 2. The Heart of the Home Kitchens are often considered the heart of the home, and old southern homes had kitchens that were attached to the main house. Many said it was built this way for fear of house fires, but it had more to do with the weather than fire. If that was the truth, 
then northern homes would also have unattached kitchens, which they didn't. The southern states had unbearably hot spring and summer months, and the heat from the kitchen filtering through the already hot homes was too much to bear. A solution was to build the kitchen away from the rest of the house. We're almost there, but before we finish, we have a question for you. If you could go back in history and change anything, what would you do? Let us know in the comments below. One, spice it up. It's been long believed that people used spices to mask the flavors of rotting meat during the Middle Ages. This was not the case, as the spices were very expensive. When someone could afford a spice, it was used to enhance the flavor of high quality. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe here, and to like this one, click over here.